Hey, how are ya? It's Rob, and we are packing for our epic trip tomorrow morning. Emma is here packing. Yeah, Emma. She, she thinks she's going on like some kind of like I don't know safari or something. No, but um, it's your clothes as well in there. So we're taking one case. It's not even a case. It's a little holdall. A holdall. Going on the bike, remember? So we're going to try and put that on the bike. Bearing in mind, we've never ever done this, and it's not a, the massive trip. It's like two hours to the to the ferry terminal. Then what? Half an hour off the ferry. Yeah. So two and a half hours. We need to. We don't want to be cold. I don't think it's going to rain. But I bought a little jacket, a rain jacket, in case like you can, can go over. Shut up. Go over my leather jacket. And Emma's got some. Actually, Emma's got a Harley jacket. Um, but she's got some waterproof trousers if she needs them to go over her jeans or whatever you're wearing. You're wearing jeans. Yeah. So we just don't want to be cold, that's all, and get to the ferry and be freezing. So I don't think we will be because I don't think it's going to be that cold. It's supposed to be nice weather for the next three days. So hopefully we're going to have a nice time now, aren't we? Look at that, look at that. Hopefully. We'll see. So what time are we getting up? Um, About half past four. No, before that. No, I'll yeah. just... I've set my alarm for four. You get a so little at four. So I'm charging the GoPro, cam uh, GoPro batteries and we're going to see if we can take them. If not, then I'll make some videos on the, my phone. I'm going to keep them in my jacket anyway, so I think they're probably fitting somewhere. I haven't taken up that much No, space. no, no. So I'll see you in the morning when we get up to see if we actually make that four o'clock start or whatever it is. I'm waiting for four o'clock start. I'm not getting up to at least half four. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is 4.36. Oh, anyway, it's 4.36. We must be blooming mental going at this time, but our ferry is at eight o'clock. We need to be there an hour early because it's going to be a busy one. So they've said. So we need to be there at seven. So we need to leave really half five at the very, very latest. And it's the first time that we've been, that we get there on the bike um, to the ferry. So we need to allow time for any anything. It's gonna be absolutely fine, I know. Uh, the forecast says it's gonna be a bit raining in Bista in the next couple of hours, but we'll be gone by then and I've checked sort of some of the places we go through and it looks like it's going to be clear the rest of the way, which is good. Um, we had fun and games last night, trying to put a case on the back of the bike with the cargo net. What a palaver that was. And we were all tired and we were getting all irritable, I was, just because I've been doing such long hours and stuff. I'm wearing my waterproof trousers in case of the, of the rain. Um, normally I wear my, my riding jeans which have got all the Kevlar inserts in, but I just don't think we'll have room to take both. So I'm gonna wear my waterproofs. I've got an overcoat to go over my leather jacket that I bought, just a cheap one from um, Sports Direct, actually. It says it's waterproof and everything, so it's just to go over the um, leather jacket. And in the next hour, Emma needs to get up. We need to make sure we've got everything. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room for much of the GoPro stuff. So I might just, you know, the best camera is the one you've got in your hand. And I might just use this one and keep everything the same for continuity and all that stuff. Because Emma got excited about it last night, which is good. And I'm excited by it. And uh, I just hope we don't get soaked on the way because then that'll be a miserable start, but I don't think we will. So. The ferry is going to be busy. Apparently, it's fully booked, which means we might be one of the first people on because of the bike. And then we need to get off the bike quick and go and get a seat because everyone will be like jostling for seats. So, anyway, I'll see you when we are just about to go on the bike. We'll see if we can get everything packed up and then see you at the ferry. So, we are at Southampton Docks. See the bike behind my head there. There's Em. Say hello, Em. Hiya. 
So that is Emma's longest, where's the camera? There, trip. How'd you find it? It was really good, thank you. Yeah, it was nice. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. What are you being weird for? Anyway, um, we went to get on the ferry, well, went to line up for the ferry. They turned us away because it was before seven. Even though our ferry was not till eight and they wanted us here an hour early. But I think that ferry there is still, that's the next one out, isn't it? So yes, our one's yeah. not even in. Coming yeah, but they wanted us early, I think, because it's quite busy, it's fully booked, I think. So we are just sat by the sea. It's actually quite a good trip down, wasn't it? Is it quite easy? We set off really early. So it took what? What time is it now? So, so literally an hour and a half, didn't it? No, not even that. Not even an hour and a half. An so yeah, really straightforward, not much traffic. Obviously at that time of day, and now it's just nice sunshine, sea, and sea the Harley. Cold. Right, we're gonna get on the ferry in a bit. See you, see you later. Hello everybody, so we're on the ferry. Emma's here, we got a coffee. Look at the lens. So we were queuing in the traffic coming into the terminal and the bike started to sound a bit different. And I thought, oh, here we go. I thought it might be normal. It is normal as the engine shuts down one of the cylinders to cool down the engine. So I don't know if you can even hear me. But we're on the ferry. It is proper busy, isn't it? Proper busy. They said it would be fully booked and, it, and people were getting all, <laughs> people were getting irate in the queue, getting into the car park. So now we're right at the front of the queue, so hopefully we'll be the first, well, we will be the first off, because that's what they tend to do with the bikes. There's one of the uh, biker couple here, ready to have a coffee and chill out for an hour. Oh, well, we're on the move, we're going already. We're on the move. That is the front there. My bike, our bike's down bottom somewhere. So we can chill out for an hour. And our first epic trip. Our first epic trip has started. something a bit different at the moment we're walking as part of our Isla White trip we're walking through the marshlands as you can see cows where cows there water across there and we've come right from back there so cows looking at me like what are you doing so this place was actually the inspiration behind where they wanted the Lion King to be set <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I'll make myself laugh. Anyway, back on the bikes later. We're having a bit of a break, uh, doing a bit of walking, a bit of exercise, get out and about in this amazing weather. So we'll see where we end up. Now you might be able to hear this, what's coming behind. Just have a look at this. So 
so we're walking across the fields towards Pembridge Airfield, I believe. So just some more things to see while we're here, making the most of this awesome weather. Windmill, windmill is behind me now. See it there, obviously. But look, we have guests. Some sheep. So you can see them views over there. It looks like we're in flipping Africa, somewhere like that. We're still in the Isle of Wight, of course. And uh, the others are just waiting for me while I make this little short video. That is a windmill. Just uh, planes are taking off still from the from the airfield, which is just over there. You see the hangar there, and then the airfield, the runways or whatever. So yeah, lots to see and do. Emma's waving. So we're just gonna get to the windmill and then we're gonna head back. We might get a, a drink now. But again, making the most of this amazing weather on our epic Harley Davidson trip. All the weather again is amazing. We just need to cover up a little bit because we are both proper sunburned and we have. It's a little view. So we've had a nice time, haven't we? Been quite, yeah, it's been quite awesome, really. Um, out on the bike, we did we did spend quite a bit of time on the bikes on Saturday. Yeah, loads. And then yesterday we didn't really go out, did we? And such. Well, we did, but not on the bikes. Yeah, I mean on the bikes, I meant yeah. And then we went awesome. for a walk and got absolutely burnt to a crisp. My arms are just like proper pinky burn. Um, anyway, so we're going to go to Paul to see my folks. Uh, some more stunning roads down that way, so we'll see where we end up. Yeah. And on the way back, we're hopefully going to go through like New Forest Way and see if we can get a little bit, well, not lost, but take some scenic routes on the bike on the way back through New Forest and see where we end up. Yeah. All right. Selfish kind of person With a soul trying to fly I aim to break the laws of nature I learn to love before I die back from our epic little break mini break trip epic trip uh, time or whatever you want to call it uh, we're on our way back we stopped at the services because traffic is horrendous it's bank holiday Monday plus 
it's the start of the half term, so everyone's gone mental like they normally do. So we've just been in to the services uh, to use the facilities, and they've got a one-way system in place for queuing for McDonald's and stuff and the, the coffee shop and whatever. And it's amazing how many people just don't know how to read an arrow. It's just carnage. And it's like, how... You, it's obvious how COVID spread because people just, you know, just can't follow simple, simple instructions. So what chance have we got? Anyway, the trip has been amazing. Uh, you can see I'm really, really sunburnt. So stood here. Ain't doing me any favours, but um, I'm okay for a minute without singeing into some ash. Um, we're on our way back. We've probably got an hour to go, something like that, maybe just over. So we're riding back straight from Paul now. So we've been around Paul, literally no space on Sandbanks Road because it's just so busy. People have gone absolutely mental. No space for even a bike. It's crazy. Uh, but people are out enjoying themselves, you know, which is obviously a positive thing. But the trip itself has just been oh, amazing. We've learned so much about what we need to take with us um, and about the bike and stuff. Um, it's just been really, really good to spend time with this amount of time with Emma on the bike itself. Um, and I've been, I've been so impressed with Emma. She's done amazing considering her back issues, but she's done awesome. Um, so that is it uh not sure how much more i'm gonna say about the video or about the trip obviously uh, while recording this it's not been edited so i need to put it all together so if i don't do any more videos make sure you like this video if you like it hit that subscribe button just hit it we need to get more subscribers come on and i will see you on the next video Oh, so tired.